guys, it's Kimberly Wright with Revisto Real Estate. I am in Verado right now on Main Street. Here in the center of Verado, this is the heart of Verado. And I'm just walking past the CBS. I'll show you guys around. Over here to the left, right next to Ebb Flow, we have Bashes. This is the cutest, probably the tiniest Bashes in the state of Arizona. And fun fact, Bashes, the Bashes family, is actually one of the founding families here in the state of Arizona. So they have Bashes, they have multiple stores all over the valley, and this is one of them here in Verado. It's Kimberly right here with Revisto Real Estate and I'm going to be talking about Verado in Buckeye, Arizona today. One of the best, literally, and I say this probably in every video, but it's one of the best communities here in Arizona in the West Valley, said to be like the new Scottsdale in the future. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Click that little notification bell so you can get a notification every single time I upload a new video. And if you are looking to move here, I am an Arizona licensed realtor here in the state of Arizona, helping people move here every single day. So if you are looking to move here you can give me a call send me a text send me an email i am here and available to help serve and support you at the highest possible level let's go Built in 2002, Verado has been around for well over a decade, and this is actually one of the very first community facility districts that didn't go by the whole desert cookie cutter feel that you usually see here in Arizona. This is nothing compared to any of the other neighborhoods that you're going to find here in the valley. Maybe Marley Park, maybe there's a few in Gilbert, maybe there's a few in Scottsdale, but here in Verado, you're definitely not gonna get that cookie cutter feel. You're not just gonna get that, um, that stucco look on your home. You're going to get a very unique architectural feel with your homes here in Verado and we're going to show you a little bit of b-roll on that. So here's one of custom homes that are being built right on the edge of the White Tank Mountain. This is White Tank Mountain Regional Park right here. And there is so much land to build on, you guys. This is insane. All of these white poles out here, I don't know if you guys can see them. All of these white poles, this is where they're building. This is where it's sectioned off. Now here in Arizona, you cannot build up at a certain point. You can't go on top of the mountain um, just for, you know, uh, this part. It's just how we are out here. We don't like to take away those views from people. So we like to keep them, keep them open and keep it, you know, open for desert life. And that's exactly what they're doing here. So when we're gonna turn this corner right here, we're gonna view a few custom builds here in Verado. These are now, now these are mansions. <laughs> these are huge. So here's one right here to I, I feel like a tour guide. I said, here's one right here to our left. But this is beautiful, beautiful. Right on the mountain, like look at that. 
So Verado is definitely one of the communities that broke that mold. And here in Verado, you get a very small town-like charm. I know I spoke on Verado a little bit on some of my past videos, but I wanted to really dive into it and because it deserves a video of its own. That is how amazing Verado is. And, and honestly, I'm not even going to be able to go into all detail about how much Verado has to offer on one video. That's how much this community has to offer. It is the biggest, the largest community facility district here in the West Valley. I have a lot of clients wanting to visit a Stray Mountain Ranch. They think they want to move there and then they say no and then they choose a Verado. So a lot of people move here thinking they want one or the other. They think they want Verado and then they move to a Stray Mountain Ranch or they think they want a Stray Mountain Ranch and then they choose to move to Verado because they both have a lot of the same amenities. They both have hiking trails, gyms, restaurants, shops, uh, you know, community events. They're so, so similar. Hiking trails, off-roading. On Verado's tree-lined streets, you will find that front porch parties and community events just happen naturally. They happen organically. So here in Verado, you're going to find a lot of trees like this. Literally winding every single street here in Verado. If you don't see these, that means you are no longer in the community of Verado. And I'm actually right here on the main market street where you can find restaurants, bars, shops that you can literally walk right outside your front door and go into within five minutes. It is insane. There's so much to do here. Speaking of so much to do, if you're looking for more of an outgoing lifestyle, wanting to get outdoors, wanting to really, you know, explore the communities. If you're 55 plus and older, Verado's got it made for you. There are so many amenities here for you. And if you're looking for a new build, there's a ton here too. There's over 40 plus model homes here in the Verado community that you guys can take a tour of. If you have questions about them, you can always reach out to me and let me know. With over 21 miles of hiking trails and biking trails here in Verado, there's so much opportunity for you to go out and explore with the family. If you are in that 55 plus range, there is so much for you to do out here as well there all the trails ring from easy to to more you know strenuous but most of the trails out here in Verado are extremely easy and if you've never hiked it before in your life you can definitely do it it's, it's insane, insane out here it is, it is so, so amazing. amazing and this community is so well planned that each park there's over 75 plus parks here in, in the Verado area so if you're looking to visit a park all the parks are about two blocks away from your front doorstep so it's insane literally that's how well they try to to plan this community and how precise they try to make it and it's it's definitely worked out it's definitely been one of the top communities here in Arizona and they're starting to compare Verado to Scottsdale to Old Town Scottsdale as well so it's really unique and you guys there's 75 plus parks here like I don't think there's anywhere else in, in Arizona that has that many neighborhood parks, all right? That's crazy. That's crazy. So you get you can you can't even go like if you decide to go to a park every weekend, one park each weekend, you're still not going to get to all of those parks in one year. What? what? That's unheard of. That's unheard of, right? So it's so much to do for the family. Now, if you are in that 55 plus range, like I said, there's a lot for you out here as well. They have 55 plus communities here in Verado from, and you know, if, and if you're not in that age range, if you guys are looking to move here, they have condos, they have townhomes, they have resale homes, they have custom homes, they have new builds, a ton of new builds, over 40 plus new builds here in the Verado community alone. So if you guys have questions, like I said, definitely give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I'll be here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level. So you may be wondering, so you guys are probably thinking, okay Kim, how far is Verado from downtown Phoenix? It's about 25 miles and it's gonna be about 30, 35 minute drive, depending on the time of day. Now, if you're trying to go to Sky Harbor, Sky Harbor is gonna be about 45 minutes from here, depending on the traffic. So it's not too bad. It's not like you're driving an hour, hour and a half. So that's a good thing for you guys if you're looking to move here. It is on the outskirts and you know, it is a little bit further out of the city, but with the new 303 coming here, um, the, with the new addition to the 303 right off the I-10, you guys will be able to get to downtown a whole hell of a lot faster than if you just took the I-10. So that is coming and that's coming soon. As far as the price point for homes here in Verado, we're looking around that $430,000 price point, and that is for a resale home, that's for a condo, that's for anything out here. That is the average price point for homes here in the Verado community, and that's actually Buckeye as a whole. So Verado is in Buckeye here in Arizona, so it's on the outskirts a little bit, and it's very, very large, and it's growing a ton. So even if you're not here in the main heart of Verado, you can still go on the outskirts a little bit. They have a new fries coming up, they have a burger 
King right next to Varidal High School and they had they're they're growing a lot there's a lot of commercial businesses coming out here to Varado as well and there's like I said this is like a small town feel so anything that you need is going to be here they have a circle K they have um, you know attorneys offices they have brokerages they have medical facilities schools restaurants shops grocery stores anything that you need so that you don't have to leave Varado like how crazy is that so if you want to live out here and you're wondering you know what it's like this is just a very very small amount so if you guys have questions like I said please give me a call because there is so much more that Verado has to offer so if you guys have questions definitely give me a call and if you guys are looking to move here keep in mind I am an Arizona licensed realtor here in the state of Arizona helping people move here every single day literally from all over the US I am getting phone calls text messages and emails non-stop daily so you can always give me a call send me a text send me an email and I am here to help serve and support you at the highest possible level thank you guys so much for watching my video